um, we've got the person who's the winner of our logo competition who has done an absolutely amazing job and that's Craig, uh, Craig Cockcroft. And Craig, yeah, he's an amazing designer. I know a little bit about Craig from many years back. I've worked with him from before, from just after he came from Newton Hague, and I think it can maybe correct me, Craig. I think was working in one of the car plants there or something like that, and people saw what an amazing. He's got a good memory. Yeah, I remember you got an amazing talent, and yeah, he was brought into one of the big agencies in Cape Town at Ogilvy, and um, from uh, Volkswagen to Ogilvy, he made the right fit Siltrup and Macon in 1980, yeah. 1986, 85, I think. Yeah, uh, eighty-five. Uh, hey, you're giving him too much of your age away there. <laughs> so, Craig, going to tell us a bit about his um, how he came up with his logo design. Tell us a bit behind the thinking of it, his own business, and also his fine artwork. So, let's crack on. And Craig, I think first of all, just you got that brief. It was just an open brief for all of us trying to get us doing things in this this time. What were your initial thoughts, and how did you get to where where you are with that design? Yeah, well, well. First of all, well done on on um, starting this initiative. Um, you know, it's 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 better than just sitting around twiddling your thumbs. Not that I've been doing that. We've we've all been quite busy, yeah. Um, but but yeah, we and we don't really know where this, how this initi- initiative will will kind of pan out and where it'll go. But it's you know, there's this it can go in any direction, uh, which probably led me to the the circle the 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 dot the wheel you know it's kind of there this I, I love circles and dots and wheels you can see some pictures of uh, that i've uh, done recently um yeah and uh you know the 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 dot and the wheel there's so much symbolism and um and also it was quite easy to do i must say you know i, I didn't want to <laughs> uh, I, I thought there were a whole lot of other designers that are way better than me that will would um you know, flood you with a lot of great designs. So I thought, what the heck, I'll, I'll just do something. And uh, it, it kind of just came out. And, um, yeah, and I kind of post-rationalized it, I suppose. You know, the three colors, the three primary c- colors, you know, with with those three primary colors, you can do anything. You can mix any color. And, um, you know, the circle and the wheel has a lot of symbolism. Um, you know, I, I, I sent you a little bit of a, a kind of a rough r- rationale. You know, like just kind of wordplay and free thinking. We're gonna we're gonna go through that just now, um, and, yeah. and, and you know, it's just funny you, you you say that people flooded to science. It's funny if I was talking to um, one of the uh, and one of the interviews actually was Ross, and I was just telling him about what we're doing, and he was, we were just before we started recording and you know just discussing and chatting, catching up, and he says, oh well, you're gonna get lots of people with um, hands you know, holding and all that sort of stuff. And, and I thought, ah, yeah. oh, look, I, I hope not. But anyways, um, and I was just so, it was so refreshing when your, when your design came in and it was just, I thought, hey, wow, you know, this yeah. is just something really different. So I really, you know, congratulate you on that. But before you got started... But if you look closely, there are, there are hands in there. There's like, that, but they're doing that. And I just did that. Yeah. But anyway, but it wasn't you know you you know your conventional thing would have been no, sort yeah, of that no. sort of thing and that. But it, it, no, it, no, it, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I know, and I was so pleased you didn't. <laughs> and um, but before <laughs> before you actually get started and you get into the design, is there a process that you go through? Um, is there do you do sketches first, or do you just sort of put a whole lot of things down, or sit and have a cup of coffee and think? Or? Um, yeah. You know, Mark, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Um, you, you know, having having looked at your um, your interview with Ross, I mean, I've I've always admired Ross and the work that they've done. I've never I've never actually met him. I'd love to meet the guy. He's a very interesting guy and very down to earth, um, and incredibly talented. And his um, his book that he put out, I actually went hunting for it on his site. The the, the PDF book. I forget the title now, but you know it's kind of his process, and 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 it's abs- it's absolutely useful in that. And I didn't use the book. My, my my process is 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 quite organic. You know, um, um, I do listen. I try to listen, and I think listening is a very very important thing. You know, to listen to what a client um, or a situation has to say, um, to understand, and then you kind of let that permeate 
uh, uh, percolate rather, um, and and maybe you do a bit of research and that. But this was a very organic kind of thing, you know. I mean, collaboration is a very simple concept to understand, and it's it's the coming together, the joining, the you know, co-working um, stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, I was busy in the studio doing other paintings and, and whatnot, and um, I just felt a kind of a sense of responsibility to to do something for you, you know. And uh, and I was busy painting, and I, I just took a piece of paper and a big chunky brush, and I dipped it in some paint, and I made some circles. So those are hand done, uh, not done on the computer. I eventually, you know, I scanned them in and simplified them and whatnot, and um, yeah, and I just put them together quite organically. So I, my process wasn't that kind of academic or, you know, too. Mm. It was just kind of off the seat right. seat of my pants. So maybe that's where <laughs> some of the best design and best art comes from. You know, that sort of just raw mm. thing of getting into it. And another comment that you that you brought up. The seat I, of my pants hides a ring. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. Moving on from that one. Um, Craig. Yes. Yeah. You also made a comment, which I thought was very interesting. And, and um, I think you're right. And I, and maybe you could elaborate. I, you know, I called a group and I was sitting and I just, I don't know what to call it. So I just, I was saying, oh, and I want to call it, collaborate with people. And okay. So I just said, oh, well, let's call it, let's collaborate. I hadn't really put much. And then you mentioned that you thought maybe the word collaborators um, was better, and and I actually think you're right. But do, can you just give me a bit of idea why you think that? Yeah. Think that? Well, you know, I didn't want to impose my 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 thinking too much, which why I mentioned just a, it was a gentle suggestion. I think it's a great um, you know initiative that that, that you've started, and uh, let's collaborate is in fact you know the reaching out to people like minded people or or or, or, or disparate and d differently talented people like you're a photographer i'm an art director wannabe artist and so on and the other people out there who are all different and um yeah so so the reach out part of let's collaborate is is kind of natural by just having this initiative and what you know what it stands for and what you say and these interviews and so on but as soon as you've joined you know and then you know, being collaborators yeah. is a more active kind of yeah. um, um, word, yeah, uh, I think. And, and and as soon as you, because that's what we're kind of driving for, I would imagine. You know, I, I see now you've mentioned that maybe this little logo design can, can go onto a T-shirt if people are happy enough to, to walk around with these things, if it's pleasant enough to look at and so on. There might be a printer out there or a T-shirt supplier. And, and like you say, you know, these T-shirts might, might be sold. So... Every one of those kind of people become collaborators. And, and, you know, yeah, and the, the collaborators at the moment, you know, we've already had a very kind offer for, not that this is for, for free anything, but that they will do the printing of the T-shirts. And then the, um, the idea is that once we've got the T-shirts, we've got your design on it, um, that, that we can actually make something out of this. And then I wanted then everybody who's on the group can get a supply of t-shirts and can try and sell them or just ideas like that and they earn and they earn some money off them because if we can make them really fun people walk around with you, yeah, you've actually yeah you've, you've started a gang so, so you can be the gang leader um i'll, I'll be i'll be the the muscle you know and I'll, send, I'll send you out in front. And, we, we wear and we can go out at night and and, and, and mug people for their, their money. But, you know, we, we don't use weapons. The weapons that we use are cameras and our pencils and paintbrushes yeah, yeah. The, yeah, and so on. So. The creative crew. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's, that's really great. And I think just now, while, we, while we're chatting in that, I'm going to just um, share my screen now to your PDF. Okay, so that's the um, logo proposal. Oh, that's okay. Uh, it's a color screen. Okay, well, like I said, you know, just a bit of wordplay related to, you know, the, the ring or the circle. You know, it's, it's about focus coming together, the whole um, O opportunity. Um, there's even a, an ancient word there, lago, which has some kind of negative connotations historically. But um, it, it, essentially, it's in times of trouble coming together to form a ring of protection. Um, and, uh, and and so so that also kind of comes into it. 
So, but but it's like I said, it's a it's a very simple uh, logo, and you know, you yeah. either like it or it's like Marmite. It's you you either like it or you don't. But but so, and I just yeah. use some other wordplay things with the three different um, entities here. You know, it's you, it's me, and and another. You know, uh, they could be suppliers, they could be collaborators, they could be other artists, um, clients. But yeah, if you can keep clicking. Um, yeah. I'm I'm kind of reaching for my mouse to click, but uh, you've got the mouse and you're in control. Okay. So okay. Just, okay. just tell me when you want me to. No, move just keep clicking. Like, so and then think. The you know the thought. Through, yeah. We'll go back. Think, work, sell, or dream, share, realize, plan, make, sell. So you can apply many, many different things as long as it's like in threes or whatever. So this idea of the the, the three uh, entities um, coming together. So. Uh, there's diversity, but there's also union. So there's a couple of words um, underneath each color that, that kind of, for me, represent, uh, you know, yellow, positivity, fun, sunshine, optimistic, happy, warm, intellect. Uh, the blue color is cool, fresh, it's tech, it's intelligence, it's ocean, it's sky, it's sincerity. Red is dynamic, it's hot, it's passionate, it's love, it's also danger, it's confidence. All the kind of things that... All those words kind yeah. of play into the whole act of collaboration. You know, there's a sense of danger about starting something new. Will it work? Won't it? How will the collaboration pan out? Um, but there's a lot of passion and there's you know, a lot of stuff kind of coming together there that makes something new. Okay, and, and uh, it's about people, projects, and, you know, hopefully a, a, a business element that comes out of it, you know. But... May, may, there's also a sense of fun, hopefully, that, that uh, is involved. So people, business, project, these, the, the rings are just kind of rearranged here. So here's the actual logo. And the, the, the idea is that for every collaborator, you know, it's coming, well, it's a different person with a different kind of background, um, sensitivity, culture, uh, um, you know, talent set of skills, etc., um, coming together, working with different people and on different projects. So for me, the logo shouldn't just be one one logo. It, it, it's always got to have the three circles, but they can, they can interact with one another in a different way. And I think that's quite nice, you know, so long as those three circles are there and, and maybe they can yeah. be used to represent a specific on a project. Or, um, or job or whatever. So, you know, they kind of play around. My, my son actually took these things last night and, and did a little... He, he's a film student. Um, yeah. And, uh, and, and he, but he did like a, a very simple animation, which, which I think we've sent you, but you can maybe play it. Yes, so, I've so, it. So once we, when I put this video together, that will actually be the yeah. intro. And I was actually, you know, I'm looking at this, these ones here, and I mean, people absolutely love the, all of them. I mean, they're amazing. And one of the things that I'm going to do is, yeah, as I say, have that as the intro to, to the videos, or all the videos actually going forward. And yeah. um, I, mean, I mean, you know, just an idea, I could, I could send people the, the actual, the artwork of each circle in, in a variety of colors or whatever. And if there are other designers out there, whoever, you don't necessarily need to be a designer. If you can fool around with it, you know, on a Mac or, um, or on a computer, on a, you know, you can, you can make your own thing with, with these circles. And that's the idea. I mean, maybe that, that'll be a nice little initiative to put it out there and people can play with these circles. Well, I and, uh, and it go comes up. Finished, yeah. As soon as, as, soon as the this best, the best one of the week wins a t-shirt. <laughs> Absolutely. Look, I think that's a, a great initiative. And yeah, and I think, I think what's also, yeah, I'm just looking at all this, going to flip through them quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Low. I mean, she's, <laughs> what you can, I'm so I mean, there, 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 there could can, be, I'm I mean, if you can just go back one to the packets, yeah. uh, you know, there could be some people like, like us at home, you know, in lockdown, like I'm, I'm sure many other people, I mean, um, I've got a, a bunch of popcorn, yeah, we've been going through popcorn like, like crazy. We are a family of five, three kids and my wife and I. Uh, but uh, Juliana has also been baking a hell of a lot. Um, so I think she's going to be baking crunchies again today because once she's baked them, they're no sooner out of the oven that, you know, they, they, they finish. And it's not just me, I can assure you. Um, 
but yeah, these packets, you know, people can do home baking or home creation of goodies to eat and so on. And this could be an idea for packaging, you know, so. It's awesome. As you talk about that, I've been making sourdough bread. My daughter made an amazing, it's like a marshmallow with Rice Krispies things the other day. And my son made nice. made cookies yesterday, peanut cookies. And so, yeah, we've been, it's, it's, it's such a great idea. And then the t-shirt, obviously, yeah, we, cool. can, we can work, work on, on that. And people who's maybe come up with a great design get their, their design printed on a t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean there's, there's, there's an infinite amount of, of variations of these circles. And that I've done a few more this morning, which I can share with you a bit later. But yeah, these are just a few little visual things that I've just put out there just, you know, to inspire. And awesome. now, 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 that combi, that's my dream car. I mean, if, if ever I, one day when I'm big and if I win the lotto or I get a big job that pays out well or somebody can pay me with, with a VW Combi, that's my dream car. And, uh, I was, I, I, yeah, I traveled around Europe yeah. for two years in one of these, an old orange one. <laughs> I lived in it. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, that's my dream vehicle. Yeah, it's another, uh, oh, the, the last, the last little uh, frame, I think, um, the, the Petri dishes I thought was quite interesting, you know, with, in relation to what we're going through now with the COVID-19 um, and yeah. science and all of that, you know, the, if you go back to the last one with the Petri dishes, you know, right. it's, it's, yes, a, yes, it's, a, it's a bunch of yeah. very tiny little things that come together and uh, under the right or the wrong conditions, something new is created, you know. It doesn't have to always be the right conditions. They could be the wrong conditions. And the combination of these things, um, you know, uh, chemically speaking or whatever, under the conditions can... Now, if you look at some of these things, they're not all Petri dishes. The, the, the bottom middle one is a piece of artwork that somebody made. They, they crocheted a kind of a Petri dish style oh, wow. art um the oh, other the, the the blue one on the right hand side just to the right of the logo in the middle is a kind of a resin paper yeah it's like a resin paperweight i think the others are all petri dishes uh, so um much like you know in science and, and chemistry um you know anything can happen so that kind of also goes into this whole circle logo you know, there's just so many things going through my mind now that that we can that we can think about doing things. You know, collaborations. Even yeah, as you say, in the science field, we could maybe get a couple of scientists and say, "Hey, use this for collaborating and getting us new ideas." I don't know. There's all sorts of things going through my head, and I think that's what's so amazing yeah. about um, the design that you've got here and what you've done is is the versatility of it and and the 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 many uses that it can can be used for. So yeah, so that's really great. And then Craig, just want to move on a little bit because we've discussed this now, and I just think um, for your own self, you yeah. just um, you have Jack Russell design. I, I think I heard a dog barking in the background. Was that one of them? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we've got we've got two dogs, but yeah, I, I must show you this dog. Uh, if you can see that, this this is like I've yeah. collect, I've collected these. The reason, first of all, the reason why we called ourselves Jack Russell. I mean, most ad agencies, you know, use their names, which is probably the right thing to do. But uh, I loved the Jupiter Drawing Room, and uh, there was a there was a, a Dutch um, agency years ago called Orgasms. And even in a liberal, very open-minded uh, uh, place like like um, you know Holland and Amsterdam in particular, uh, they needed to change that name, and they changed their name to BSUR, which if you say it quickly, it it, it sounds like be as you are, and and I actually visited okay. that a agency uh, some years ago, and it was quite interesting. But anyway, Jack Russell design. It's because we're small. We li like like the, the traits of the Jack Russell. You know, bred to hunt. They're intelligent. They can be inquisitive. They can be yeah you know, a whole lot of things. But this little dog here, yeah, it's got a hole in the back, and I use it. I don't know if you've ever heard this as a pencil sharpener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the bark? 
I heard the bark. I think everybody heard the bark. <laughs> the barking <laughs> bum. <Brilliant. laughs> But yeah, we yeah, um, Juliana and I actually met uh, at at Wrightford's, um, you know, after I had a little stint in Italy, and I came back and I met Juliana. We got married. Juliana's a great designer, and um, she, uh, she designed our three children: um, our son Liam, who's a filmmaker, and our twin daughters uh, Francesca and Isabella, and and she did a great job designing them and and now she kind of curates us at at home uh, she feeds us yeah. she does a very good job there especially on me and um so yeah and we started we started jack russell design i think in 2000 um yeah, because I think back then, you know, the ad agency days were quite volatile uh, uh, places. You know, if, if a, an account was lost in an ad agency, literally overnight, you know, you, you'd have to retrench people. So there was always a big dark cloud that kind of came into, into the, the space when, when an account was lost. And, and really clients just kind of, no warning, they would just say, look, we're moving on. And, uh, and that kind of like led me to believe that I, I needed to build my own parachute, so to speak. Um, and uh, so when, when we finally decided to build a house, we built a, our home with, with a, a studio space. And, and, and yeah, and we've been here for about 20 years working from, from home. The, the downside is, is kind of losing touch with, with a lot of people out there because you kind of tend to be a little bit, um, you know, isolated you need to really make an effort to get out there and meet people so in fact i've been kind of been in isolation for 20 years so this covid thing is nothing <laughs> yeah look i think a lot of a lot of um freelance uh, small design companies and that yeah i think we do work like that we work very isolated and i think maybe this covid 19 oh, yeah. is changing the way things that we've even though we isolated we actually realize we're coming together more much like we're doing now with this collaborations and things and yeah, now I've got a. No, I'm getting back. Please. Yeah, and I just I've got I'm going to share another screen now with you. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's your just gone onto your website, and we've just got a couple of your designs oh, wow. here. So yeah, it's just some really interesting work, and what I what I quite like about it, I was just looking at it, and it, and it's, it came through the logos, and I can see that you've got quite a um, yeah unique style in that. And, and your artworks, which we're also going to touch on just for a, a short while as well. So I don't want to spend too much time here. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's just everything's got a, a, such a unique look and feel. Um, is, is, would you say that's your specific style? Or are you very dictated to by your clients? Or can you feel that you can actually change them into something different? Yeah, again, it's a lot of it's like very intuitive and it depends on you know, a lot of ingredients, you know, I mean, even with everything, there's, there's collaboration, you know, there's always the client, there's, uh, and, and, and a client comes with their own kind of uh, personality, set of views, I mean, there's good clients, you know, and also clients and the guys in between or whatever, but um, it's always fantastic if you, if you work with a good client, uh, people who are open, they, they, they're passionate about what they do, and and that kind of passion and and enthusiasm kind of spills over to you. If you get a kind of a client that's really dogmatic and you know a bit of a bully, you you tend to to produce worse work. Um, and then also the people that you're with, you know. I mean, for for four years, I ended up working with with Alex Leverton, um, who has a, a a little place called uh, All Brand No No Flex, and we work together, and we we've kind of not disbanded, but uh, we work remotely now, you know, um, yeah, to pull the plug on, on, on renting and so on. But I'm just mentioning him because the wine show uh, job was, was a collaboration with, with, with them. And, um, yeah. yeah, unfortunately the client didn't really get to use all of the stuff that we had, um, had produced, but we had a lot of fun producing these images um, you know, I think it was just budget constraints as far as the client was concerned in um, kind of applying the theme of of the greatest show unearthed, a kind of a, a vaudeville circus kind of show related to wine. And there, we had so many ideas packed in to this whole direction and concept. And I'm not sure that they actually managed to 
pull all of it off. You know, again, it might have been budgetary constraints on their side, but the potential is still there for them, and they're still using the idea years later. But I'd like to see them applying more of our, our ideas, which I think will kind of resonate really well with, with the, the public. But that's the wine show. Um, obviously, the, the, the main sponsor was Tops, so the, the logo thing was a little bit of a kind of a shoehorn thing. Um, the Prince Albert olive oil was uh, one of ours, Jack Russell Design, pure, like the oil. Uh, the Bardenors family approached us and asked us to produce their can. They, I mean, this is years ago. They'd, they'd, you know, they're based in Prince Albert and they, they had all these olive trees. And then they got a, a machine in to, from Italy to press the, the, the juice from the, the olives. And um, the brief basically from Hein Bardenors was, look, you know, there's a lot of money and time and effort that has gone into getting the stuff out of the, 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 the trees um, and out of the plant and the fruit. But now, essentially, we need to package this and put it onto the shelves in the shops. And it's a, a package, and, and he said packaging is, is going to be vital to the success of this. So the pressure was on, and, and, yeah, and we attacked it. And the first thing we did was we, we got into the car and drove through to Prince Albert, and we spent a weekend there researching, taking a lot of photographs and so on. In fact, the windmill that is in the center of that can, I mean, if you want, you can click on it, on that picture, yes. and, and you know, more stuff will come out. Uh, yeah, so, so the, 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 the windmill is actually a windmill that is, there's many windmills in and around Prince, Prince Albert, and, and that's a wooden bladed windmill somewhere in the middle of Prince Albert. And of course, we also saw a lot of Brookies lace, and we saw owls and mice and chickens, and so the, we we kind of took the essence of what was there in the town itself. And um, in fact, this was our first uh, design. When we when we explore this kind of thing for packaging, we tend to kind of go a little bit over, over the top, and we sometimes, I think, in this particular instance, we produced about twelve different uh, designs. Um, yeah, and but but they ended up going with the first one that we did, and and it's worked gangbusters for them. I th I'm sure everyone's seen this can in um, Woolworths and and various other stores and so on. And you know, I'm reaching for my mouse my mouse to kind of scroll through there. But anyway, um, so that was Prince Albert, and it's worked out very very well for them. Um, yeah, so you can go back. Um, yeah. This is a very good experiment to see how badly my website gets navigated. Oh, it's, so, yeah, Aspustiki, the, the, on, on the kind of right-hand side, is a label uh, that, we, that we did for a friend of ours. Aspustiki uh, is the name of Cinderella in Afrikaans. Um, okay. And uh, my friend Alan Cook um, has a little, a little design, uh, a, a little uh, farm uh, just outside of Ribex Castile. And uh, and Juliana designed that, and um, I think our son Liam did the illustration. So so it's a kind of a family affair. This whole Jack Russell design yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Great. Um, yeah. I mean, we, as hard as we tried, none of our children have ended up being accountants or scientists or doctors. Unfortunately, they've got our genes, and they've. So, they've so you didn't become, get you didn't get a, a retirement package out of them. Um, no, no, no. They're <laughs> going to be struggling artists like we are. Uh, really. thing, and, and talking about art, I'm just going to switch. I don't have any of, of your art um, here, but I, I just want to just brush on it um, for a short while. And then what I'd like to do is for you to supply me some, and I'd like to put it up on the uh, collaborators group um, for us to see what you're doing. Because there's some really, I mean, you've been doing some amazing stuff in this lockdown period um, with all of Yeah, well, I, I think that, yeah, I think that that was uh, Juliana's fault as well. Um, you know, in our studio over the years, you know, back when in the day when I when I was employed um, and earning uh, a salary in there, uh, art directors often had uh, subscriptions to very good magazines, and um, and um, so over the years we've got a, a, a huge selection of magazines, and some of them kind of start getting dated. And one day Juliana said, "Look, it's time for us to." 
to get rid of these things, you know. And uh, and I started getting rid of some, and some of them I really regret. I had a huge collection of interviews and face magazines and so on. But anyway, in the process of doing this, I started flipping through some magazines, and then I had the idea of just tearing out or cutting out interesting colors and textures and things and just playing around, putting them together. And so my, my collage thing was born. And I had a, my, my first little exhibition uh, with the Alex, Alex Hamilton uh, gallery. And, and it, it was phenomenal. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting much, you know, many people to even come, but it worked out really well. But thank you for mentioning all of these things. And really, it's... Uh, I mean... Look, you're a good salesman. Sales, you, you know, <laughs> thank you. No, look, I mean, if it helps, <laughs> if it helps down the line, that's great. But I think it's it's so interesting to see what people are doing. You know, just you know, people think I, you know, I paint as well. I'm not the greatest painter, but I paint as well, and I I um, photograph and I, I do all sorts of things. And people, are, you know, in photography, I've yeah. always had this label: oh, he's the jewelry bottle pack shot guy. But I love shooting people, yeah. you know, and people tend to box you and yeah. things. And so what I wanted to show from this is that, hey, we, you know, there's a lot we can do. And if we put our mind to it. I mean, people are, ama people are amazing. They, they're, they're resilient. Um, and, and in times like this, you know, I mean, creativity kind of, it's like we're being squeezed by, by the pressure of, you know, psychologically and what we see on the news and financial constraints and that. And I mean, obviously far less than you know, less fortunate people, um, but, you, you know, uh, we're being squeezed and creativity seems to come out, you know, we, we, we kind of get back to nature and we, we, we appreciate things more and, yeah, I mean, Ross Charles, I mean, he's painting, I mean, I'm really, really keen to, to see another interview with him and, and hear about what he has to say about his art, I mean, his, his portrait, uh, portraiture is fantastic. John Pace is another guy. John Pace is another guy you must get a hold of because his painting is off the charts. Just mailed him, uh, messaged him the other day, and I know John well. So I'm, uh, all these guys, I'm going to try and get. You know, um, I've uh, also Peter Southworth was having a look at your stuff and really liked it and was commenting on also a brilliant, oh, Peter's brilliant, Peter's brilliant creative director that I've worked with. So there, there's so many guys and there's so much knowledge out there, and you know, we just pull together, we can do things. And I think just to end off, Craig, um, I just want to say thank you very much. Please send us those images so I can put them up of your artworks, because I really would like to do a little or you, gallery or you, with or you. Or you could visit the, or you could visit the the website www.artcraft.coza. But anyway, I'll send you the screen. Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen for you. And just thanks so much. I mean, it's such a pleasure chatting to you and such a breath of fresh air and the enthusiasm and everything. And, and I'd just like to say to everybody out there, you know, this is, this is what we need to do. I mean, this enthusiasm that Craig is showing and his work and what he's doing. And any of you guys out there who've developed a product and think, oh, I need an interesting designer to help package or whatever, you know, he has somebody in the group that can do it for you. So it's, we need to get all of us together. So um, I look forward to it. And Craig, thanks so much for your time. No, it's a pleasure. Look forward to seeing the t-shirt.